Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do all four of these assignments right here. First one is the crop image to one person of your choosing. So this is the actual picture, the original. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose one of these and just crop it down to them. So which one of these uh, would you like to be the most if you had to be one of these? So we're going to go ahead and right-click, copy the image. Very important, right-click, copy image. Then we're going to open a Photoshop right here. Once Photoshop is open, we're going to go ahead and go to File and New. I'm going to choose the clipboard size. When I copy something, it goes into the clipboard, and I just copy that picture, so it's in the clipboard. I go ahead and click the clipboard, click Create, and then I'm going to go to Edit and Paste. Here we go. Now I'm going to use the cropping tool right here. Now this tool is pretty cool. As it says here, it trims or expands the edges of an image. And any of the tools here you're really curious about, when you hover over them, it'll kind of give you an idea of what it does, which is pretty sweet. We're going to use the crop tool right here, and I'm going to go ahead and select this ninja guy. So I'm going to drag the edge over here, right there. I'm going to drag this edge over here, right there. And then I'm going to double click on him. Now, as you can see, my image is now just the ninja guy. This is a cropped image. You wouldn't even know that there's other people on the side of it. It's just him. So I'm going to go ahead and go to just click the move tool out of habit. I'm going to go to file and save as. I'm going to call it ninja. And I'm going to go ahead and save it as a JPEG. If you keep it as a PSD, that's probably just fine too. But I'm going to go ahead and make it a JPEG. And then I'm going to put it on my special drive. Yours will be your student number. And then inside of here, by the way, if yours looks like this, you just click this little arrow. Inside of my student number, which is my name because I'm a teacher, I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder. And I'm going to call it uh, CCA. Uh, I already have a CCA folder, so I'm going to go ahead and call mine CCA2. Here we go. And inside here, I have ninja.jpg, and I hit save. Wah! Then this thing pops up, and this is just like how high quality you want. Eight or nine is just fine, and I hit OK. So now this assignment is over. I can go ahead and close this. I don't need to save this one because I saved the other one. I'm now going to go back to Chrome, and I'm going to close this, and I'm going to click on this one. So for this one, we're going to desaturate everything except the girl. So desaturate all but the girl. So I click on this. The picture loads up. I'm going to right click and copy the image. Then I'm going to come over here to Photoshop again. File, New, just like I did before. Again, the clipboard size. It's very important that you copy the image before you go File, New. And then I hit Create. I'm going to go Edit and Paste. Here's my image. Now I want everything desaturated except for her. So there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm going to just do it a really simple way that's going to show us a little bit about layers. So over here on the right, you notice that I have this background, but I also have this layer one. If I turn it off by clicking the eyeball, you'll see that she's gone. This is her layer. Now I want to duplicate the layer. I can do that by right click and then duplicate the layer. But there's actually a shortcut, which I like. This is the new layer button. And if I take this layer and drag it to the new layer button, it just duplicates it. See? So now I have two. This top one, I'm going to come over here to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. Where is that? Hue Saturation right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and desaturate it. So it's all going to be black and white. And I hit OK. So that's just one way to desaturate it. But we actually want the girl in color and just this desaturated. So desaturating meaning just black and white. So how do we do that? Well, we have this one here, which is the black and white. And we have this one here that's the colors you can see. I can even take my move tool and move it over the top. And, and oh, look, I have two. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep this one on top. And I'm going to go to the eraser tool, which is located right here. As you can see, it's the eraser tool. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to erase the girl. Now, if I click on the girl and erase her, as you can see what's happening, the color is coming back. I'm going to make sure my, that my opacity is 100%. So that way, when I click erase, it's really going to erase like everything, and I get all that color back in. There we go. So I'm going to bring this color back in her coat. Bring it back in that stick, and then boom, she is in color, and everything else is black and white. That's exactly what I'm supposed to do. So this was the original, and this is the new one.
Um, let's go ahead and go File and Save As. This is going to be Drum Girl. Here we have the Drum Girl, again in my CCA folder. So if you don't have that, it's in your documents. You have this, which is your number, and then I have CCA2. If you need to make a new folder, make one here and call it Drum Girl. I'm going to go ahead and choose mine as a JPEG right here, JPEG file, and click Save. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 9. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and then I'm going to hit Don't Save. I'm then going to go back to Chrome over here. I'm going to close this and go on to my third picture here, which is we're going to clean up the skin. Okay. So I click on this guy. His eyes look crazy. That's fine. I'm going to copy the image, and then I'm going to go back to Photoshop, File, New, just like we did before. Again, that clipboard picture, hit Create, and then I'm going to go Edit and Paste. The shortcut for this is Command-V. Command is right next to the space bar. Command-V and Paste. Here he is. So as you can see, we have these layers, right, just like before. Now, for this one, we're just going to use a, a cool tool called the uh, Healing Brush Tool or Spot Healing Brush Tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And um, if I make my mouse bigger, as you can see, it's really little. If I make it bigger by hitting the bracket keys next to P, so the letter P on your keyboard, if I go next to it and hit the, I can go up or down with those bracket keys. And I can just color over the top of it. And as you can see, it just magically gets rid of it. So you don't want to color a lot. You just want to color in that little area. I can get rid of this guy right there. Um, I can kind of clean up this if I want to. Clean up this. Clean up this. Um, it looks like his nose is pretty crazy here, but you know, it's all good. So if you use this tool a lot, this skin is pretty, um, has a lot of stuff to clean up. Uh, then you can kind of start noticing things. You may want to make sure that your hardness is down a little bit, and that can sometimes soften that up a little bit. So here we go. I've got this, and I'm just going to clean this up a touch. If you totally do something big and it looks really horrible, you're like, oh, no. Well, you can always hit Edit and Undo, or Command-Z for short. Like, you know, you're not going to make them perfect. It's okay. Uh, people aren't perfect in the way they look. We're just cleaning it up a little bit. Um, like this. Right, 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 right. Quick and easy. So that's just a quick and easy um, tool. So, so if we were to go and look at it before. By the way, this is history. If you want to go back in time in your picture, right, you can go back and see what you've done. This is where we started. And this is where we ended. So it's a little bit cleaner. It's not the best job. There are other ways of doing this, but for a quick and dirty cleanup, this is really good. And that's all you have to do for this assignment. So there we go. Use the spot healing brush. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and file save. I'm going to call it face and save it as a JPEG. Again, CCA2 and save. OK. For the last one, I'm going to close this. Don't save it because we already saved it. For the last one, I'm going to go back to Chrome close this. And then I'm going to click on this white and teeth. This one's a little tricky here. We're just going to right click and copy the image. We're then going to go back to Photoshop like we did, File, New. And then we're going to go Clipboard and Create. So we're going to take these teeth that are pretty yellow. Oh, I forgot. We have to edit and paste. We're going to take these teeth and we're going to whiten them up a bit. So I'm going to zoom in. This is the zoom tool. Z is the shortcut. So I'm going to zoom in here. There we go. And I'm going to use this selection tool right here. The selection tool is really, really cool. This is the quick selection tool. You'll see it's really big. I need to make it smaller because if you go over anything, it will select that thing. So if I'm highlighting the teeth here or selecting the teeth, I do not want to put this over the lips. Even like this amount right here is going to mess it up. So I'm going to shrink it down quite a bit. And then I'm just going to select. Just click and drag a little. Click and drag. Click and drag. Now we're getting some other stuff. That's OK. Click and drag. Click and drag. Click and drag just a little bit at a time. And as you can see, we got some gum. Now if you look really closely in the middle, you can see that there's a plus sign on this if I hold down the Option key or Alt, I get a minus sign. And that means anything I click on, it's not going to select that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this and some of the gum over here because I don't really want that gum over there. Very good. Get rid of some of this gum over here. Oh, we want that back in. So I let go and uh huh. Very good. Uh, okay, looking pretty good down here. We may want a little bit of this over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just clicking and selecting exactly what I want selected. 
Um, and now what I'm going to do is I am going to go up to the select. And this is where we can control our selection. I'm going to go ahead and go to modify and click feather. What a feather does is it makes the selection a little softer. So for this one I'm actually going to make the radius 10 and hit OK. And then you can see if I was to hit delete how it has this soft edge right here. That's because we feathered it. Feathering gives it that soft edge. Now we don't actually want to do that. But we're going to go over here to image adjustments and we're going to go to hue saturation first. And what I'm going to do is two things. I'm going to pull saturation down. If you pull it all the way it makes the teeth gray and that looks horrible. But what we do is just get rid of a little bit of the yellow and then we want to take the lightness and move it up just a little bit. Okay, And then I hit OK. To deselect, I can either go to Select and Deselect, or I can hit Command D for short. There we go. Now if I zoom out a little bit, I can hold down, I can click this Zoom tool. I'm going to hold down the Option key. Notice how, again, Option changes it from plus to minus. I can zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, her teeth are a whole lot whiter. So if I was to look at the before, it would look like this. And after, it looks like this. So you don't want them like super white or it's going to look super fakey, so we just whitened it a little bit. I'm going to go to File and Save As. I am then going to call it Teeth. I'm going to go ahead and name it, uh, make it a JPEG. This is the format we're saving it in. Again in CCA2 and I hit Save. Excellent, and I hit OK. So now if I was to go to the Finder right down here, and I was to go to my documents and my W Pettit, yours will be your student number, and my CCA2 folder. Over here I have the drum girl, who, if I hit spacebar, I can see, has the black and white, perfect. I can click the face, which has been fixed a little bit. I can click the ninja, which as you can see here is just this one part, and I can click the T. As you can see, they've been whitened. So these are the images that I'm going to then um, attach and turn in through Google Classroom, and then you're ready to work on your own college poster. Good luck, everybody.